Will McDonald has been one of the more impressive rookie defenders in the preseason. The Jets' entire defensive front has been pretty much unblockable, but McDonald's athleticism and pass rushing juice has really stood out. He's played 72 snaps, so basically one full game's worth of reps, and he's recorded seven pressures and a sack. His go-to move is the inside spin, and if he can refine his hand placement and footwork, he has the potential to have one of the best spin moves in the NFL. He has the first step explosiveness to threaten the high side and manipulate the tackle's balance. He's extremely fluid to spin around quickly and attack the inside shoulder and then he has elite length to finish his spin move and seal off the tackles recovery so right here he fakes the cross chop where he gives a downward strike with the inside hand across his body the goal is to get the tackle to two hand punch and occupy this inside hand so there's no resistance when he spins through the B gap and then in one motion he spins inside and finishes it off with the ice pick technique where he pins his hand on the back and propels himself to the quarterback definitely would have been a sack if the QB had held onto the ball like I said this works best if the tackle takes a wide set and responds to the fake chop with a two-hand punch because if this inside hand is extended the blocker isn't going to be able to use it to block the inside spin here's another example against Carolina you've got the guard blocking inside so the B gap is wide open for the spin move he chops draws out the two-hand punch and then once he ice picks the tackle physically can't reach back with the inside hand and he has no way of putting up any resistance but a lot of times younger pass rushers especially if they're undersized struggle to execute the inside spin if the tackle uses independent hands. So right here, the tackle blocks the cross chop with the outside hand, but he keeps the inside hand free to catch the spin move. But McDonald has the play strength to force himself through the B gap and pressure the quarterback. Right here again, he fakes the cross chop. The tackle extends this right arm to protect the outside, and he's got the inside hand ready to catch McDonald when he spins back inside. But McDonald's able to generate enough torque to uproot the blocker and get into the backfield. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and also follow us on all of our social medias. The links to those are in the description. And then the outside spin move is something you don't see as often. It's best used situationally. So right here, he gets into his pass rush. He sees the right guard is unoccupied. So if he were to spin inside, the guard would come over and give help to the B gap. So he attacks this space right in between the guard and the tackle and basically does the inverse of what he's done in the previous clips. He fakes the cross chop with the left hand and then spins outside. The quarterback avoids the sack, but this is a great bend to turn the corner at the top of the rush and a really good example example of adjusting your pass rushing plan on the fly. For his spin move to be effective against high quality NFL competition, he's going to need a speed rush that tackles are forced to respect. And I think his explosiveness and bend alone will be enough against certain matchups. But he was able to win a couple times with a speed rip. Right here, he gives a jab step inside to try to get the tackle to underset. And then once the tackle punches and extends his outside arm, that creates space for Will McDonald to bend around the corner and get the sack. In his rookie season, I expect Will McDonald to be primarily a designated pass rusher. The Jets have enough edge depth where they don't really Really have to play him on rundowns and for a player of his size I do expect run defense to be a weakness at least early on you can see right here the tight end Ian Thomas is able to get his hands inside and drive him downfield but he does have the speed to make chase down tackles as a run defender and you watch the way that he uses his hands as a pass rusher I think a lot of that could translate to his run defense the size is definitely gonna be an obstacle but there's plenty of edge rushers in the NFL with his build that are average to above average run defenders he's just gonna have to win back some of that edge with hand placement and technique. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.